What are you enjoying about uh, being or playing with Blondie? Is what's the? Oh, I think they got a fantastic canon of re- repertoire. They're cool. They're all good players. I've been friends with Clem for a long, long time. We've done loads of sort of projects. Some good, some a bit airbrained, but we've done stuff over many years together. We play well with each other. I love playing bass when somebody else is singing. When I do my shows, I play rhythm guitar, but that's what I started out on. And and there's a, I think there's a corner to Blondie somehow. They're kind of got that pop rock, slightly punk thing down, but they've always had quite a cool arty edge somehow. And then they, and, and they've never really been constrained by what genre they're supposed to be. And I mean, in the eighties, and they started doing more kind of disco stuff. And I'm actually quite good at octaves on bass. Oh, I get to show that off. <laughs> Yeah, you know, what is what is this is there a song that you look forward to every every show they're, they're all pretty good really <laughs> when, when, trying to get you're trying to get some specific info from glenn i, want, I can I want feel to know, it i want to know the bass head like okay here's where here's where glenn gets to shine here here's... Oh, I, I get to shine in rapture then there's it takes it down and i do my bit and i do it but sometimes debbie comes up to me on stage and she goes have you finished yet <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> No, uh, yeah, this kind of couple, and she's a great singer. When I started rehearsing with them, um, you know, it's it's quite well equipped with a team of people are doing it. And the, the sound guy said, "All right, Glenn, everything kind of cool. Can you hear everything? This is in the rehearsal room." I said, "Well, I could do with Debbie a bit louder, please." Then he said, "Well, it's pretty loud." I said, "I know, but I like her voice. Just turn out. I like listening." <laughs> Yeah, it was. I went. Uh, I was at the Crew World Fest last year. Oh, okay. that was cool. Yeah, it was really cool. And I, yeah, I, I was shocked. Like that looks like Clint Madla. I had no idea. And so it was. It was kind of a, a nice little thrill to to see. Yeah, and it was all very last minute when I got the the call from Clem to do it. Um, so yeah, it's all part of life's rich pageant. You you you're so. Uh blase about this but you've played with everybody i mean all our our favorites in in each of your you know each of your different bands you've played with you've played with mid-year you played with mike peters who whom i'm a big fan iggy oh. pop <laughs> can we mention iggy pop what's what... i mentioned iggy yeah, i played with him a long time ago in fact the first time i came to america and went to new york i was playing with Iggy at the age of 23 and um we headlined the palladium in new york on Halloween and the cramp supported us, which is not a bad induction into <laughs> coming to America for the first time. Yeah. And in fact we played in Los we played in Los Angeles on that tour. And backstage there was both Goldie Orn and Cher. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I've arrived. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. All right. Well who's gonna be backstage at uh at this show at uh, at the end of April? We're gonna to... Oh, I don't know. We'll see when we get Maybe we can get Goldie Hawn and Cher back. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>